So who would have thought that a mitten could create a clash with our neighbors across the lake? But there's a war brewing in the blogosphere over who the mitten state is and if there can really be two. David Douglas outside tonight on the patio to explain, David. And people are actually very upset about this. People down in Michigan, we'll get to that in a minute, but Wisconsin kind of looks like a mitten, doesn't it? I mean, here's Madison, here's Door County, here's Bayfield up at the top. State tourism officials certainly thought so and include the image as a part of an evolving campaign showcasing travel here. Well, down in Michigan, sometimes known as the mitten state, people are angry. With a chill in the air, hands benefit from a little bit of cover. They're really, really fuzzy and warm. And for these UW sophomores, the cover of choice are mittens. The top comes off, so if I want to text when I'm walking. Wisconsin Tourism Secretary Stephanie Klett would be happy. You don't need a slogan to have effective marketing. After first representing the great state of Wisconsin as a leaf, a change of seasons brought about the mitten. But Michiganders have their yarn all tangled. You see, that state shares a mitten-like shape and has claimed it as a name. Not fair. There's only one mitten state, and that's Michigan. Klett says the Badger State isn't trying to take the moniker, just having a little fun with marketing. And the fun is just beginning. With a cheese head on it. And then we're going to have the little Door County thumb with a bratwurst in it. And then we're going to have it with a rose in it because we're Rose Bowl bound. So look out, Michigan. Uh, forget the mitten. This is a mitten having fun, and fun is the top travel motivator. Not to mention, why can't there be two? See what I'm talking about, though? They can be friends side by side. It's a pair of mittens. <laughs> you know, great Midwest states come in pairs. A historic look shows Wisconsin represented as a hand-shaped state isn't new. Russ Feingold used it iconically in his first Senate campaign in 1992. Next stop, La Crosse. But just to put it all to rest, we asked our UW sophomores from Minnesota and Illinois to give us a hand. And you say? Wisconsin wins by far. I think Wisconsin wins. Again, an impartial arbiter. Yes. <laughs> If anything, Wisconsin tourism officials are getting the last laugh. Today, more than 2,000 unique visits from Michigan on the Travel Wisconsin Facebook page. And this evening, they posted this image that I want to give you a look at. Take a look at that. It said, whose team is undefeated? Let's see a show of hands. And so I think we know that we are maybe the second pit pair uh, second rather mitten in the pair. I don't know. I, 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 I can't decide, but uh, we have more to brag about at least, right? right. <laughs> and we got a championship ring for each finger too for those Super Bowl victories. Mm -hmm. All right, David, thank you very much.